the Carling Curry Cup and it's down in Cape Town where the DHL Western Province will be facing the new nation Pumas and a huge game this in round 11 for both of these teams. Well, if we have a look at the log, it'll give us the reason why I made that comment there. The Puma's on 24 points at the moment, Western Province 22, and there's a dogfight on to get into the top four. For Western Province, this is a vital game. It's home. They need to win it. The Pumas and their coach, Jimmy Stonehouse, told me so much. They also, this is like a do-or-die game for, for them, and it is for both of these teams. Well, both coaches would be very happy with the weather conditions because it's absolutely perfect. Very little wind speed and uh, a cool enough temperature to make things comfortable for players and referee and clear skies as well in Cape Town. We often at this time of the year, it's pretty wet. The wet's coming on Wednesday, they say. So the Pumas, their lineup then, an important match for them too with uh, Simon Vestrot at 35 years of age very much the talisman among in that pack of forwards and Etienne Yannicka and Ich Prinzlu alongside him both just uh, around about 22 years of age so two youngsters with a, a man who's been around a while Peter Janssen van Vieren captains the side and Eddie Fischer has a big role to play at fly half today Western Province, well, they've got three men up front that uh, were schooled in the border region. Scarra and Tabeni, the most experienced, and two 22-year-olds with Leon Lyons and Sazi Sundi will be packing alongside him. So those two front rows have got plenty to play for. And, of course, absolutely vital as well that Joan de Jong, who captains the side, he has Warwick Gallant at fullback. And can they make this count? It's such an important game for both of these teams. And uh, joining me in commentary today will be former Northern Trial, rather Northern Transvaal, former Blue Bulls lock forward, Faj Mabeda. And uh, Faj, I think one of the questions that, that I would really like to ask you by way of introduction is Western Province have spent the season really playing games of two halves. We saw it last week against uh, the Cheetahs where they came back so well in the second half after an ordinary first half. How vital is that going to be to have an 80-minute performance from them? Yeah, 100%. You mentioned it, Kevin. Uh, it's a dogfight now. Every moment counts. They can't have any weak moments. They seem to be starting off very slowly in a couple of their games. And then they catch a wake up in the second half and start reminding themselves that they are Western Province. They're the team that's won the most Curry Cups in the history of the Carling Curry Cup. And so they have a lot to play for. There's a, a pride I think they've missed a little bit. And they've, they've struggled to find a collective way of approaching this Carling Curry Cup. I think you were on duty at the last match that they played in Nelspray too, where we saw a similar occurrence. Look, exactly that. It was difficult for them in Nelspade, although they came away with a convincing win. It wasn't that convincing for them. The Pumas, some would say, sort of gave that game away. They were in control of it. That's something that the new nation Pumas will definitely want to, to sort out as well. So two sides that are desperate to fix things. And I think the introduction of Wari Kalant coming in at fullback just adds a whole other dimension to Western Province and leadership. Well, Griffin Colby... The 28-year-old, he's still a young man, schooled at Great College. He'll take charge of the whistle today. And the game will be started by the effervescent Eddie Fischer. <laughs> David Mehazen in picture there. That kick might go straight into touch. No, fielded by Edwell van Amarva. Perfect kick in that from Eddie Fischer. Skaran Dabeni with the ball. Always looking for that powerful forward drive. DeVette and Tim Sweel in combination. It's a pretty good kick that from Tim Sweel. Got his team out of the 22 metre danger. Well, the Pumas have only won one of the last seven encounters between these two teams. But they have a fair number of their players who actually either schooled down here or played for Western Province. 
One of them will be the man throwing in the ball there, Simon Vestrot. Well, it's a little short throw there, caught Western Province unawares. The throw to the front to Ginter Smuts, who's now in possession. Yes, Billy Engelbrecht. He spent a bit of time with the Stormers earlier this season. So he also knows his way around this, this park. Good work there from Matt Moore. Smuts. For sheer looking to take them on. So good to see him back after that horrific injury. He uh, dislocated his hip. Most uh, cruel injury and a, a very unusual one, one feels too. Now, Devin Williams, another man who's played for Western Province and the Stormers. First touch of the ball then for Western Province. Some good work there from Leon Lyons. Now, Swill, there's an extra man here if they can make this work. De Jong, Sinatla. I'm sure he's looking for a little bit more room to move in than he's had in recent weeks. Swill's pass. Knocked over by Nokondwana. Okay, now, very good play here from Mayhazen, but his pass has gone awry. But still they go. Yes, it will for Namava. Can he make it to the line? It's a great finish from the left winger. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that a twerk? Edwin van der Merwe. What a start for the home side, DHL Western Province. What a way to get your first Carling Curry Cup try as well. Showed some Excellent. very good explosive speed out wide. It's coast to coast rugby forwards linking very well with the back line. Great line from Dave Mayhazen. Good defense from Sebastian de Klack, but he couldn't hold on to it. Fantastic reaction from Dan Duplessis and too much pace out wide. Edward van der Merwe strikes first blood. Boy, we've got some great left wingers. In fact, we've got some great wingers, full stop, in South African rugby, yeah, haven't we? Seen yeah. some excellent no, play from all of them. And uh, Dolph the moment, well. no exception to that rule. Just did the little step out of the tackle. This man certainly carried the mantle for Western Province this season with a boot. It's a clean enough strike, and it's a good enough strike, too, for an additional two points. Fantastic start for DHL Western Province. Defence, most sides, every single side in the competition has struggled with defence. The Pumas caught in sixes and sevens. Why? Because it's counter-attack ball. Western Province knows that. They set it up for two phases. They know they need to get it out to the wide to the speedsters. Good finish. So a little bit of attention to Erich Cronier for the Pumas. He's back on his feet again. He has Evan Roos. So the vet waiting to ignite his men. Oh, he's not going to do that. It's the kick over the top instead. Up for it, Devin Williams. Smuts. Now time for the big men. Peter van Feeren, Shane Kirkwood. Smuts his kick and swill perfectly positioned for the little catch. That's probably going to go straight into, in fact it is, straight into touch. So they'll come back again. Interesting uh, thing as well, Fudge, just to mention that Western Province we've seen with them. And they've, got the, they've scored the most points this season coming into this weekend of rugby and had the most scored against them as well. Quite a quite unusual circumstance. And the same for the Pumas. The Pumas have, have Peter, had the least tries scored against them. Pick it, please, okay? Thank but you. Uh, they've also scored the least number of tries for. So they haven't been the attacking force that they might have wanted to be. Catch from Van Feeren. This at the back. They seem quite well set the other Pumas. J.D. Schickling caught in the middle. They certainly have been a team that's been full of running this season, the Pumas, but you can only play as well as your opposition allows you. Will they get those opportunities from Western Province? Smuts. Fushia. Play on. 
Some good strong work, but it's beautifully taken Inside. away there. I think it was Nama Kaba. Now De Jong. It's slung to the ground there by Makundwana. Now the Vets will probably kick over the top. Seeing a lot more kicking these days from the base of the scrum. And that's a very good kick right up to the halfway line. A stunning kick there from Paul DeVette. Without a doubt, an asset to the stage. Our Western Province side has been really good for them this season. And you're right, Gavin, we've seen a lot of kicking from the base. Here we see Etienne Yannicka, powerhouse, getting his first start for the Pumas, but Kuyenzeka, Kwena Makaba, needs no invite. So Vestrat right over the top. A perfect throw as well from him. So often those throws go awry. For Shear. And it's a, a long chase for Gallant. First touch for the fullback. And it was good play up until that kick. That's really gone off the side of his boot. Yes, for Shear again. A little indecisive in what he was going to do there, Eddie, for sure, but they've managed to hold on to the ball, courtesy of Shane Kirkwood. Now, this is another man who's uh, looked full of running this uh, season, Etienne Tolyard, on the left wing for the Pumas. Yannicka. Lots of ball coming the way of the men from Nell Sprite. Seb de Clare from the right wing. Use nine. Well, I want to make sure that they use all this possession that's coming their way and uh, lodge some points on the scoreboard. Use nine. Galant's a long way back because he's expecting a kick here from Gitter Smuts. Yeah. Uh, and it's coming right down onto him. He's knocked it on, so he has an opportunity here for the Pumas. They might really want to try and play it out a little bit wider if they can because they've got plenty of men here. Here's Talyat. Hauled in by Namakaba. Yes. Now Nkundwana. Smits. Fischer runs right into a trap. Became the ham and the sandwich there, but this is good play as well from the fullback Devin Williams. In fact, there's no doubt they certainly are looking full of running the, the Pumas, aren't they? As they carry it through the phases. Yeah, much better improvement as well from the DHL Western Province's defensive line. You can see them putting in the big hits, closing down the spaces very well. Eight phases it's gone through now. For sure. Nkodwana. Tell you what, it's almost a little bit of basketball at times, but yes, for sure, he's eventually found the gap they were looking for. Yeah, patience is the name of the game. Without a doubt, best opportunity you give yourself to score a try is by making sure you hold on to the ball. Eddie Fouché has been knocking on it, keeping them honest. He's been trying to attack it. Very good line by Pumzile Makondwana keeps the ball alive it's risky stuff but Eddie Fisher keeps working picks it up and he can't believe it's opened up for him like a Red Sea yeah it's just a, a lovely run around with a bit of basketball initially but he saw the space and opened it up and he will be trying to convert his own try I don't look at the screens you have to, you have one and a half to I think there's a measure of relief for Jimmy Stonehouse the coach too that they've got points on the board after all the possession they've had Yep, so important to make sure that you keep the scoreboard ticking. Top point scorer for the new nation Pumas. Yeah, he's got it over, so he goes up to 69 points for the Carling Curry Cup this year. That's good play, Eddie Fosher. He's finding players, he's trying to put players into space. He's grabs onto the ball and attacks the first couple of meters keeping the defense honest and a little bit lucky that time 
But um, good to see the number 10 back just in time for the new nation Pumas. A couple of must win games for both of them. 71% possession for the Pumas, and at least they've got the reward. Well, the Carling Curry Cup has also, a lot of matches have been played in midweek, so it's been a, a heavy burden for all the teams. And the Pumas certainly were lucky to get the four points when their match against the Sharks was cancelled. So uh, that's kept them in the wrecking. That's a very good kick there from Devin Williams. Yeah, definitely so many disruptions and a big up to all the coaches and management and also Carling Curry Cup to have been able to get this far in the competition. It's still going and the rugby is improving without a doubt. Really exciting stuff we've seen. And a lot of youngsters are getting opportunities that uh, might not have been possible yep. if there was no international rugby and otherwise. Western Province wanting to show they've also got the ability to move the ball wide quickly. Sinatra finding himself on the left-hand side of the field as a right winger. Now Schickeling. Devet. That's a nice play that from Devet with his pass on to Leon Lyons. Western Province now He's looking outside, play on. like they could be serious contenders to get some points and this they'll oh. get. Dan Duplessis, twinkle toes himself. Check if he's onside, I'm happy he's onside. Oh, Dan Duplessis does so well. That's an inside centre, but he found some space out wide. And he might have just got in for his fourth Carling Curry Cup try. All depends on whether or not the referees call Griffin Colby of making sure he was behind Tim Sweel. Fantastic identification of space. they got to give some credit here to the fly half too. Absolutely pinpoint kick that as well, which we've seen on many occasions from Tim Sweel this season. And on his way back to the halfway line, Tim Sweel will probably be saying to his backline players to start with, you've scored two tries and you've given me the most difficult conversion of the lot to kick here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, can he add the cherry on top, as he has so many times this season for Western Province? Well, there we go. It's a beauty. Great kick that from Swill. Good dummy line from Evan Ruas just keeps them honest. You've got your Hunter Toit outside him, but fantastic play. Dan Duplessis, twinkle toes in the corner. I think we're in for a high scoring game here. <laughs> Fudge, I've got the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> this time a little bit deeper from Eddie Fischer onto Evan Ruas. He's come on so much this season. He really has looked the part. When we talk about having so many wingers in South Africa and we've got a lot of good loose forwards too around. Oh, definitely he's the top try scorer for the Western Province this season. Just what a season he's having. Brilliant Evan Ruiz and uh, not many of those have come from malls so it's open page um, tries. A lot of them on the counter attack. A lot of them demanding some power from him. Got a fantastic highlights reel and what an impact he made against the Cheetahs. They won that game in the last minute by just one point just a week ago. He came off the bench. My I don't want to, to watch out. It looks like the arm just slips up, but want to make sure he doesn't give away any unnecessary penalties. We know how teams have been punished for ill-discipline as well. In the interim, it was a great kick from Swill to get uh, DHL Western Province down to the 22 meter line of the Pumas. Baba brought down, and yes, Ruiz taking it straight through Route 1. And Scott on to Benny. Now, Gallant, the long pass to Sanatla. What a pass. What a try as well. Brilliant effort that from Western Province. Such foresight with that pass, too, to get it to the speedster on the right wing. He had a bit of work to do, but he backed himself for those 76 Ks of muscle that he owns. Yeah, Sanatla gets in for his 24th Carling Curry Cup try. This is just brilliant. This is what I meant by saying they'll be relishing 
Warren Salan being back in the side, decision making, fantastic skills, and he joins the line brilliantly there, puts away Sinatra, flat pass, a bullet pass, beats the defenders, puts away his winger. So 12 point lead opened up then. Tim Swill, two conversions from the touchline. Yeah, he's got another one to contend with. Came into this game with 99 points. He's now got 103, looking to get it to 105. This time it's going to go past the left hand upright. And Western Province, full value for those 19 points. It's just got there's something different about this Western Province side, the way they've approached the first 20 minutes here at Newlands. Sanatla gets in on the corner, good strength shown by him, good finishing. Open side kick in then from Eddie Fashir. Evan Roos with a catch in the run through, or the attempted run through. I've seen him kick a rugby ball yet, I wonder if he can. <laughs> Such a good carrier. Hold, right? blue! Hold! Now, oh, Sweel's kick into the sun. Devin Williams. You'll know a little bit about the sun here at Newlands. It can be quite tricky on the far side with high deliveries. Yannicka. Big man. 134 kilograms. Ich Prinsloo, the tight head prop, is 139. So two big men in the front row. Yours now. Smuts for sure. Yes, Shane Kirkwood. Really good work from him. Good support play. Here comes Billy Engelbrecht. Difficult man to bring down, but that's a good tackle that from Tim Sweel. Oh, was that a high tackle? Griffin Colby might just. Uh, I have a few questions asked about that uh, attempted tackle. In the meanwhile, Smuts has got uh, his men standing off. This is Ek Prinsloo, who gets a little shove from his captain from the back. Taken in by Vestrat. Devin Williams right up there at scrum off this time. Peter's finding themselves a little bit static when they're receiving the ball compared to those early minutes of the game. Williams on to Matt Moore, who's managed to hold on to it. Here comes Williams into the half space. Wasn't held in the tackle by Leon Lyons. Well, that's been knocked on. So we're really waiting for advantage. Advantage over. Galant has a look up. He sees there's plenty of space up uh, on the far side. Now oh, the quick throw in Sebastian de Klerk for himself. He's got pace, this man, and he's done well. He's just lined it up, and he has a chance now for the Pumas. Etienne Talliard is such a good runner with the ball, too. No. We'll be wanting more opportunities in this game. But uh, suddenly, there's a couple of holes being found in the Western Province defence. And this is the pace that the New Nation Pumas started the game with. And they've now made a mistake, so... Uh, an opportunity for Western Province. They're playing advantage. Now, has that ball gone directly into touch? No, it hasn't. In fact, it's a very good kick. There's some real pressure here on Devin Williams, but he gets away with it. Looks up, sees a bit of space. It's not enough for Gallant to be troubled. Is it charged up? Now Talia has picked it up, and it's come yeah, back to Western one. Province. How many oh, oh. advantage uh, opportunities are there here for both sides? All in front of the kick. All offside. And Western Province were all offside from that kick. And you can be in front of the ball, no. but you're not allowed to then go forward. You need to stand you still or move offside, backwards. Uh, I think Tim Sewell does beautifully there to find some space and you can see the two decision makers making a big difference so far in this game. Holland finding some space up behind, especially on turnover ball. Sewell identifies space, he's kicking pinpoint accuracy, it's a very good kick. But 
again, just work off the ball, costing Western Province. Puma's playing most of the rugby in this game. Four times they've gone with five plus phases. But the Western Province defense has looked better in this first 20 minutes than it has this entire season, I must say. Michael kept it through by Edwin van der Mauer. Very well done, too. Okay. And uh, an excellent reply that from Western Province. So they really have, when they've been troubled in their own half, they've had a good exit strategy. Yeah, and that's so important, especially when taking kickoffs as well. It's been a lot more clinical from DHL Western Province. And that man, Tim Sweel, without a doubt at the center of it, Paul DeVette as well. And at the breakdown, I think they're winning that breakdown battle. A little more relaxed than they've looked throughout the season, Kevin, John Dobson and team. And he knows there's a second half to come too, and they've played too many halves in this uh, Carling Curry Cup this season. Yep, not enough full 80 minute efforts. So it's been a very good half for them points wise. Even although the new nation Pumas have had perhaps the majority of the possession. Now De Jong. Captaining the side, of course, uh, this afternoon. With the ball held on the deck, so another chance for Eddie Fischer to probe down towards the corner flag with the penalty. And just as fantastic from the left winger, Etienne Taliad. He's been really busy in the first stanza of this first half. Also top try scorer for the new nation, Pumas. Have a very powerful mall. We heard John Thompson speak about that. Simon Vetstrat has scored quite a few tries as well, just one behind Etienne Taliad. I wonder what Etienne Taliad's memory is of Cape Town because he was born here. Played 60 <laughs> times for the Falcons before uh, heading down to the Pumas. Well, that's over the back there and taken by Hunter He has a real chance for Western Province. Oh dear. Partridge. Not the best of passes. Advantage well, over. Vantage gets called over quite quickly when somebody puts boot to ball. But in the final analysis, it'll be a throw in here to the Pumas. Eric Cunha has also been really good for the New Nation Pumas. The combination between himself and Matt Moore. Just stunning. Etienne Taliad had seven ball carries and 14 tackles in the last game. Remember, they did have a bye against the Sharks. Sharks forfeiting that match. Matt Moore had the same. 14 tackles, 7 ball carries. Ball. Simon Vestrak always accurate with his throw-ins. In the line-out. Evergreen Hooker who really is uh, playing excellent rugby once again this season. Taken up by Ech Prinsloo. They wanted a quick delivery from the breakdown point. That they've got that they've messed up the catch. Had some really good opportunities in New Nation Pumas. They've been in the green zone in their opposition's 22. That time just overrunning it. The Western Province have got, I think it's Norman Cabo who's down at the moment, having some attention to his leg. No, it's not uh, Namak Kaba, sorry. <laughs> You've got to just uh, have a re-look at that. Sazi Sandi. It is. The youngster from East London. Yeah, former head boy of St. Andrew's College. Let's go, what off? He's what had off? a, a decent go. season, Sazi Sandi. And it's yeah, about yeah. opportunities again as well, Fudge. You know, I mean, I mentioned it a bit earlier. In many Let's cases... Go, James, what off? We might not have had these situations Let's where go. these guys are getting the opportunity. That jersey he's wearing is normally worn by Franz Mulherber. You know, yep. Nietling for sheer maybe as well, who's on the bench today. And and that's why I think, you know, that's the, the good side of the pandemic. It's provided opportunity for a lot of the young players. A hundred percent. And what an exciting time it is as we start to prepare for that 2023 World Cup. Fantastic for the Springbok management to also get a look at the depth in the country. And I must say, they've displayed really a, a wonderful set of skills and they've taken the opportunities. Don't start preparing for that Bye. next World Cup so early. There's a lot of rugby to be played in between. 
And I mean, what I mean is priorities. You've got to win test matches and everything else before World Cup. You've got to have a good build up to it. But uh, I get your point, and it's 100% right. Just give them the same height as well, please. You have a surfeit of talent, lots of it. And it just looks like uh, the guys at the top, the Springboks, the, the quality that they have been showing is nice just transcending down to even the smaller unions. Crouch! Bye! Now, what does Paul Devet do from here? Sit! He's got Tim Swill open side. Uh, no left footed kicker for that far side in an ideal world. But I need one. They've got a penalty. Pull him back. Disappointment that uh, for the Pumas. Etienne Yannicka. He went forward first. <laughs> they call him the pleasure. lion. Yep. Full of energy. A, a taller prop as well. So it's usually a little bit more difficult. The taller props, especially when you haven't had much experience at this level. He is a very tall man, eh? Oh, 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 oh. Who was fantastic for Tux in the in the Varsity Cup, Varsity Cup winner with them. Still very young, just uh, 22 years of age. Good take from Mayhazen. Western Province just walking down as uh, Skaranta Benny comes away with it. Held up by Eddie Fischer. It's an outlet scrum half. This is better from Western Province. Getting the ball, running at pace. Little van Amava, who's such a difficult... He's a little guy, but he is a real toughie in the Cheslin Colby mould. Was it a knock-on? Yep. The referee says, yes, Paul Devet is not so sure about that. Well, speaking about how I haven't been seeing that many scrums in the past two rounds of the Carlin Curry Cup because advantage is just being played so quickly. Teams being aware of the counter-attacking opportunity and trying to get it wide or at least through three hands to their decision makers to either let's find go, space up. behind yep, the back go. three or to take advantage of space out mm -hmm. wide. Took 34 minutes for us right, to see go, our first Come one on. last week between Western Province and the Cheetahs. So that's the quiz question. How many scrums have we had today? <laughs> Coach! So get to Smuts. Is also Bye. in a position right now where he's got Septic back on the open side. If he does work with, sorry, the blind side, Wisdom Brothers are just, oh, it's a monster scrum from them. Okay. But they've been penalized. Number one losing his bind, Blue. Number one losing his bind. It's against Leon Lyons. Yep. He lost his bind. Thanks, Dylan. It's very well picked up that. Did suspect that the penalty was going to go the other way. Spot on from Griffin Colby. Yeah, no it looks like Leon Lyons also just loses his bind, but this yeah, is the side we're looking at now. Sazi Sandy, you can see yeah. they're clearly letting loose and trying to rebind. Well, there's no question that it, I think it was Leon Lyons, definitely. He lost his bind, arm on the ground. Yeah. It was picked up on the far side. And the now, Vestrat, can he get the men in front of him to advance? Swans going sideways! Just crabbing somewhat at the moment as uh, Vestrat himself decides, let's, let's go. Okay, Smuts. Lifting legs. Number three, blue. Penalty against Sazi Sunday. Number three lifting players in the mall. So there we go. Number Four three lifting uh, players in penalties the mall. and
uh, for the viewers. Sorry. It's against Pumzile Makondwana, not the easiest man to pick, lift up off the ground like that. And although it might be impressive, it is illegal. Let's be sharp. So will we see a short line out here for the Pumas? Probably not. I want to pack them in. in. Kirkwood switch there, and it's a lovely little run around for Vestrat. Yes, Sebastian de Klerk stayed on his feet for a long time. Quick delivery wanted and got. Yes, Shane Kirkwood again. And men running at pace. Yes, Billy Engelbrecht. This is exactly what the Pumas wanted now. Can they find the space through? At the moment, it's Eric Pumier who's being release. held up. Well, I think it might have been turned tackle over. No? Release first, tackle call, release first. And that's the message. Once the referee says, tackle, you've got to let go. Western Province held on to the ball. So they have late. another tackle go in a line out, the New Nation Pumas, I think. Really good awareness from DHL Western Province out wide. Eric Cronier is just running a little bit laterally, but he does very well to get his knees to the ground. He knows that is a tackle, and the defensive side, Western Province, have to let go of the ball. Needed to listen to the referee there. There's a man down at the moment, and Simon Vestrat on the far side of the field. So a chance for Western Province to regroup make sure that they've got their defensive strategy sorted out. Evergreen, you called him um, Simon Vestra, 35 years old. He had his 50th Curry Cup cap just a couple of weeks ago. Are you going to play on the left? I called him that because he called me Mr. Cowley before the game. <laughs> and I said, that must be the great high school in you, my boy. <laughs> Yeah, um, wow, what a stalwart he's been for the new nation, Pumas. Never won a Curry Cup, and he'll be important if they're planning on winning one this this year. Of course, he did play for Western Province as well in his career. He really, he's got a, a little built-in cha-cha as he goes along there. Doesn't look that comfortable. And lovely camaraderie between him and Scar and Tubeni. They would have played against each other and with each other as well while he was back at Western Province that a long time ago. Back to business as expected. He's got rid of the cha cha, he's now on the foxtrot. <laughs> good catch, good set again. They've done it a couple of times at the Pumas. And they've got some motion, and here they go again, and it's going to be a try to the self-same Vestrat. I like how the new nation Pumas constructed that attack. They kept them guessing. We expected them to maul with their first line-out. They are the best mauling side in the competition. He gets in for his ninth Carling Curry Cup try. I believe that's his sixth or seventh this year. So it just shows you how successful they've been with the mauls. Yeah, his sixth try, personal try this season. We've seen a lot of them from hookers, who are very often at the back of the mall after the line-out. Western Province showing good strength with their counter shove. They get in there nice and early, but it's patience. It's making sure that the foundation up at the front, Pumzila Makondwana and, and crew are doing their job. Right up against the five meters, it'll be very difficult to stop them. It has for all the other sides in the competition as well thus far. And a nice option for the new nation Pumas as well to have Makanguana as a, a line out option. He was used on that occasion. Yep. Stunning kick then from Eddie for sure. And uh, the Pumas making sure that we've got a game on yet. It was the penalty an uh, ill discipline that cost Western Province first for slipping the bind and then lifting the player up. They lost 60 meters, Pumas five meters from the line. We know what they'll do. Great mall and a brilliant try. So you see those five penalties that Western Province have conceded and it's cost them as well. So something they want to be mindful of as uh, we head towards uh, the halftime another six minutes or so. 
Van Vieren. Take him back. Now Eddie Vacher, plenty of time to launch his kick. Back for it, Tim Swill, well positioned. He's got Warwick Gallant on his inside. Now, Gallant, which way does he go? Brings in Edward van der Merva. Always going at full tilt. Lovely rugby player to watch. Leave it now, leave it, tackle! Some of the bigger units uh, carrying that ball into that breakdown point. This time to attack the opposition is after they've scored against you. So uh, Western Province will want to try and do Side, that. Timing number seven. Timing number seven offside. So what's the better option there? The penalty where they are or a wonderful kick from Gallant where they wouldn't have the throw in at the line out? <laughs> Easy choice, isn't it? Yeah, look, I, I think Western Province, there's been a change in momentum now in this game. New Nation Pumas are holding on to the ball very well, asking some good questions and out of desperation, Western Province have started to give away unforced penalties and it's costing them. So I think that's the right tactic. Would have been a very difficult kick to take instead, try to build some momentum, get some points just before going into the clocks at half time. And also the new nation Pumas have not been scared to move the ball around. You know, twice they've taken it through five plus phases. It's gone to the wings on four occasions, which is uh, considerably more than Western Province at this stage. Still, I suppose matches the one on the scoreboard at the end of the day. He has to fit now, the quick pass and swill, the long pass to Sinatla. In and out he goes. Some good work from Galanti, wants to stay in field. He's done exactly that. Now Ruiz and Kaba. Ruiz not waiting for his scrum off, just picking it up. Now Devet. On it goes. And that's going to be a try. Sazi Sandi, I think it is, who's got it. And that's how you change momentum. Hold on to the ball. Fantastic line from Sazi Sandi. Brilliant unders line. Well timed. Thanks, he dots it down with one hand. Good skill shown from the big man. Well, it's a great present for coach John Dobson. Christmas in August. <laughs> Four tries and uh, a bonus point secured already. Okay, thank you. That's just what they needed. Um, there's a certain energy. It seems they've increased it now playing together. We haven't seen Evan Ruiz offload like that very often. Keeping the defense guessing very nicely. Well, it's an easy kick for Tim Swill. So he's got three out of four today of uh, the tries that have been scored. He has one of them. There's that offload. Draws in a couple of players. You can see three players down there. For the new nation Pumas, Evan Ruiz involved again, keeps the ball going, makes it quick ball difficult from the scramble defense to be aligned and that's some good rugby from DHL Western Province. Oh, that kick in, Western Province got a, a little bit jumbled up there in terms of who is going to take it. So it's the Pumas who come away with it, courtesy of Smuts. What's the point of your body weight? Well, Western Province not supporting their body weight as Johan de Toy, the man penalised. And Fischer immediately looks for the corner flag. They're not happy enough with uh, getting three points. Now, Johan de Toy has been busy. He's been everywhere. You can see um, he's putting in the effort. Looking a little bit like his older brother, Peter Steff de Toy. He gets into the good body position nice and early, but just needed to pull away with his arms there instead of getting trapped over the ball. It's an interesting stat that uh, four times Western Province in the Pumas 22 scored uh, four times. And two out of five for the Pumas, but they want to make it three out of six if they can. Again, it's Vestrat, but he's backpedaling somewhat. Now the little chip kick through. Early draft number one. 
a lead drive, number one. Leon Lyons, the man being last. And uh, are we going to see another kick for the corner flag and another little attempt at uh, a drive to the line? No, I'm sure they will. All the reason to back themselves. And you could you could hear the tall Etienne Yannicka saying, you took me out while I was still lifting the player. That's why they the gained so much there. momentum. Looked like good defense, but it was an early shove. They'll truly be tested now. They let one in, same place, just a couple of minutes ago. Nongkwad Kwana was uh, the man used in the line-out previously. He's, again, he's the target. Good to have the flank forward showing his versatility. And now, here he comes again. They start on to Yannicka. That's how close they are. Have they got it on the line? I think they have. Yep. Blue. MJ Smith and uh, Sonny Stonehouse there. Absolutely elated. It's, we're right on half time, and Daniel Martins has got their third try. Yeah, they were desperate, without a doubt, to score points before half time. It's a huge psychological edge before they go into the cloaks. They've done very well here again. Western Province struggling to stop that mall. They had the advantage. It's a good pick and go. Etienne Yannicka makes good ground, and Dan Martins. Good reaction speed from him. Good patience. Sony recycles well. Presents the ball nicely for Dan Martins. Easy enough. One of the great things about rugby with no people around is there's no booing or anything. There's absolute silence, isn't there? <laughs> it's, it's like a, a rugby match in Ireland. And the crowd all keeps quiet. And Eddie Fischer has missed that one. Just pulled it past the left hand upright. But the Pumas will be very happy with that try. Seven points. The difference as uh, we head into half time. Four tries scored by Western Province. Three from the New Nation Pumas. This was their last one. Courtesy of uh, Daniel Martins. And it really has been an, an exciting first half. With lots to come in the second. Half time at Newlands. Then Western Province 26. Pumas 19. low and Gary Borsoff the importance of the outcome of this match for both of these sides and uh, Worcester rather the New Nation Pumas have had a lot of possession and field position as well in that first half can Western Province turn that round do they need to turn that round would be part of the question so a knock on coming there from the New Nation Pumas disappointment for them you really want to start a half on a positive note don't you 100 percent gavin they needed to start this half on a po on a positive um it's not lifted it's a bad read they don't get up into the air i think there's also a lack of communication etienne taliard should be behind them um communicating with them so very good kick though right up on the 22 high enough to get the defense putting some pressure on the lifters and you can see Shane Kirkwood a little bit disappointed with himself but this is the opportunity now for THR Western Promise to start holding on to the ball in the right areas on the pitch so Paul Levitt with the feed got Sinatra standing off his fly half that's what Fudge Roberto was talking about. Western Province holding on to the ball, but it wasn't under control. So they'll have to put it in again at the scrummage. Yep. Let's go. Simon, keep. And you can see the frustration from Simon Vestrat. It's, it's tough out there for the New Nation Pumas currently. Keep square, keep square yeah, he's one. got a, a strapped boot as well from uh, a knock he took in the first half. He's a real warrior. We want to see this game through. So just a, a quick glance uh, at the bench as well. Both teams uh, are as started. 
but we'll certainly see some movement on the benches in the next eight minutes or so. Certainly the scrum of Western Province has stood very well in this game. Swill, the long pass, Gallant. Now for Namarva. And again he goes and uh, manages to stay in field. Real chance here for Western Province. Swill virtually over the line. Held up. Well, it was a ball. The ball was carried in by Western Province, so uh, it's a New Nations Puma put in, five out. A huge defensive moment from Eddie for sheer 10 on 10 action. It's almost as if he was telling himself there's no way my opposite number is going to get over the line for the try and what a turnover for the New Nation Pumas. Which is exactly where Western Province would have wanted someone like Evan Roos to be the ball catcher. <laughs> Yeah, well, I want to say he almost has a 100% strike rate when he has ball in hand five meters from the line. Evan Ruiz, lethal. Some attention for Devin Williams when he's back on his feet. In a very difficult uh, situation this now. He, he's got the solid left boot, but I'm sure that the, the Pumas, with a decent delivery, might well want to try and carry the ball up to get into a more favorable position. Crunch. All their players, interestingly enough, standing almost back at, in touch Five. and goal. Sit. I can be sure that Devet will do some chasing here. No, Smuts has done incredibly well. Found some space. The kick downfield onto Gallant. Got no one really to pass to. Devet's come back and he's done really well. The little scrum off. No tackles. Here's Evan Ruiz. Devet, Swill. The long pass to Duplessis. And uh, I think he wanted to try and make sure that ball stayed in field for Sinatla. This gave it a, a bit of a heavier nudge. And doesn't that smile on his face just say it all? And his as well. He knows he's fast. They're starting to play some really good rugby, though they know when to play conservatively, they know when to play expansively. I remember doing a, a sevens uh, tournament in Dubai, and Sonatla was at his absolute peak there. And I tell you what, all the, the international people around me couldn't believe that this guy had uh, the pace and skills that he had. And he still got them, of course. Yep, totally sensational. So, big kick downfield from Fouchier. He has Gallant. Looks up, looks where is their space, and he's certainly found it. That's excellent play, that from the fullback. Keeping the pressure on the New Nations Pumas. Yeah, brilliant play. It's really smart from him. Sergio Peterson, of course, was playing in that number 15 jumper throughout the season, and he's regularly a right wing, you know, out and out right. He can play at fullback as well, but very easy for defense to figure him out. He doesn't like kicking, loves attacking. And um, that's just, as we can see here right now, what Warwick Halan brings to this KHL Western Province side. With a left-footed kick. Catch from Kirkwood. Uh, Devin Williams. Sinatla in field. Gallant. The long pass out to Fanamarva. He's virtually carried back there by Willy Engelbrecht. And now Schickeling. I haven't seen a lot of carries from J.D. Schickeling, as is often the case with Western Province. Now Galant's kicked down the field. Back for it, Sebastian de Klerk. For Shea. That's an excellent kick, that from Fushia, but it'll be a quick throw in. Swill. Lots of time to think about what to do. Decides, let's give it to Sinatla. He's got the pace. He's got the power. He's got the support as well. And here they come, Western Province. Again, it's Sinatla with a finishing touch. He's got a brace of tries today. <laughs> yep, well, I was about to say, 
Your wonderful story, you grace us with Gavin of calling a game of his in sevens rugby with space and time around him. He's just one of the best in the world. And on the seventh circuit, he was brilliant. Gets the ball nice and early from Tim Sweel. It's a good pass into the bread basket. He's running onto it. Step on the inside. He's got electricity, but look at the speed. Get past Kenta Smuts and put away Paul Devet. Wonderful heart shown by Pumzile Makondwana, the old Selbornian, to get there in time, but great support from that man, Sinatla. The gymnast. <laughs> Extra two points then from Tim Swill, and it's everything that Western Province wanted to start the second half with. Just have a look at the power and pace of this man. Good vision to good support from Paul Devet. I just wondered if Devet should have passed a little bit earlier, but uh, it was the follow-up there from Sinatla and wrong-footing the defenders. Oh, what a way to finish what he started. So the lead, 14 points now. And I think what's going through the new nation Puma's minds is that they have to get the next points. They've got to start narrowing that gap. Good work from Yohanda Troy. Now De Jong. Again, it's Gallant. It's been a real nuisance today for the men from Nelspreit, carried up by Ruiz. Dan Duplessis fends off the first tackler, but uh, Makan Kwame has got hold of him. He's holding him up at the moment, so it's going to be a scrum. It was a maul, says Griffin Colby. And the Pumas will have another opportunity. And a change as well for uh, the new nation Pumas. Crystal September is on for Ginter Smuts at Scrum Half. Okay. A very nice substitute to have coming off the bench. Been a lot of rugby, a lot of running rugby we've seen in the first half and in the opening minutes of the forward. second half okay. as well. And yeah. Crystal September Thank serves the ball forward. really well from the pace, speeds the ball up. Born down here in Worcester as well, uh, yeah. in the Western Cape, another man from uh, down this part of the world. It's interesting as well that, uh, so he knows about, when I say wet conditions, it's not it's not hopelessly wet underfoot, but it's damp, of course. Fine. Interesting that there was a, a curtain raiser played here as well between Western Set Province and the Leopards on the 20s. Blue, 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 the score, I think, was 14 all eventually. But certainly, uh, Gillian Barnard and the staff here have done a, a really good job with preparing this field. Now, the Pumas, they know they want to get the points on the board if they can. Oh, Eric Crud here, unable to hold on to it. So uh, a knock-on from him will mean a Western Province put in at the scrum. Oh, that was desperate defense from your hundred toy. Matt Moore gets them over the advantage line. They've closed down his channel very well. He can be so dangerous in that transition zone, that first receiver channel. And gets over the advantage line. It's just brilliant vision and skill shown from Eric. Let's go. Eddie Fouchier and Eric Cronier to chase onto it. But brilliant, Johan Dutoy just disrupts Eric Cronier enough for him not to be able to take it, pick it up off the ground. In the meanwhile, the bomb squad is on as uh, Tim Sweel has his eye attended to for the New Nation Pumas. We've got uh, Morgan Nordia and uh, Juan Aykutsia are on the park. Do we have a sub on? No blood? Well, it looks like it's just Dan Martins just cuts him there. Nothing intentional, of course, but he's been in the thick of things the last week against the Cheetahs. He was also had a little bit of blood on his face, Tim Swill. Yeah, he earned his keep in that match. He certainly did. <laughs> it's only going to get tougher. Are we good to go? So in the meanwhile, Tristan Lates will come on in his place. It'll be interesting to see just who, who plays at fly half now for Western Province. 
Mike will Let's go set up. Yeah, yeah. look to use Galant there. Nordio's on uh, for Yannicka. Could see if it comes to. So that's uh, the changes in the front row for the Pumas. Let's go set up. Now, if it is Warwick Galant, sure, that'll be last thing Pumas would like to see is join the line really well. His passes have looked crispier than ever. Of course, Tristan Lights there in picture too is uh, a man who can, he's versatile, he can play in many different positions. Bye. You need someone with a healthy boot here to get you out of the 22. Well, we said they scrum it stood so well. This time they absolutely rampaged by the Pumas. Huge, huge moment in this game. You can see how much it means to the new nation Pumas. They targeted it, it was collective. Brilliant. Good response for them. Well, they've asked for a scrum from the penalty. And uh, they really are searching for a seven-pointer if they can get it. Western Province are going to also make changes to the front row with Blula and Nietling for Shea coming on. For, uh, that'll be for Sandy and uh, Leon Lyons. Just in main square, okay? So Dion Blula on with uh, Nietling for Shea. From the start, the main square, okay? Is, that, is, that yep, yep, is it ironic or Sorry, main square, please, okay? that they called on after the scrum has just been absolutely rampaged there by the Pumas? Well, I'll tell you something, Gavin. What a, what, what a moment to put some pressure on the bench. Well, of course, as you had mentioned before, there's been a lot of rotation between who's starting and who's on the bench. Some really good competition between that front row, and I think it brings out the best in the players. It has to. If you're defending five meters from your line and you've just come on the park and everyone's relying on you to give a solid scrum, that's what pressure is all about. Yeah, what a moment. Bye. So options for September too, if you can get a, a good scrum, can they find the seven points that they desperately need. Here's the pass, and uh, it's Kron here, rather Matt Moore with the ball. Now, Kirkwood, Kirkwood over, is that held up? No, it's a try. They've got the reward they were looking for, for most of it I should say. They want another two points as well from the conversion. Two big locks. Shane Kirkwood is a hard man. He's a unit. Gets in for a second Carling Curry Cup try. Sean Deong just brilliantly just to check Matt Moore. He's closed down that channel very well. But the two locks, Peter van Feren and Kirk Kirkwood, too powerful. Though they had fresh legs of Trizzy Lades in front of him there. Definitely a mismatch. Thanks, Quentin. Yeah, let's go, 60. Next job. Well, it's been a pretty good day for the boot with this man. For this man, uh, Eddie Fischier, as well as Tim Swill. Thanks. As the game progresses, so these kicks become even more vital. <laughs> It's a good strike that uh, from Eddie Fischer. So the difference down to seven points now. Now we've got a game on our hands on both sides, making sure that if there are mistakes made, they punish the opposition. Really good play, strong, powerful play from Matt Moore to get over the advantage line, present a fantastic ball for those two strong men. That's not the start they wanted. Yeah. And uh, once again, this time from Tristan Lights, with uh, Tim Swill still off the field. That's gone straight into touch. He looks a little bit shaken to finding good. himself in front of a huge Shane Kirk within Peter van Feeren. Oh. <laughs> well, nervous now, maybe a little bit dazed, as it were, but a world of skill, make no mistake. Maybe on defense you want to see him in front of you, but you don't want to see him in front of you on attack. He's dangerous. Let's set up so long, please. 
So Ernest Van Rijn coming on for David Mayhazen. That was a good picture, both of you. Keep it like that, please, okay? Dave Mayhazen had a good day at the office. Combination between himself and JD Schickelin working really well. And to have your captain on the bench to come and fill in, to close off the game for you, quite a luxury for Western Province. Crouch! Guys, when I say crouch, no, listen to me, no, listen, no, listen to me first. When I say crouch, go down, please. Both, both teams, okay? Thank you. Okay, let's go, boys. Props. Well, nice and calmly, calm message that uh, was shared there with the players from Griffin Colby, former great college boy. Coach! Bye! Boom. Now September's got some options here too. Western Province going down on the near side. It's going to be a penalty. That's right. Dion Glolo who's uh, gone down on that occasion. Just have a look here. Well, you can clearly see his spacing isn't right. His knees are way too far from being right underneath his hips. Well, that kick's not out. Now, Tristan Lates makes 100% sure of his kick. It's a pretty decent one. Up to, up to the halfway line, or 10-meter uh, line, rather. You better give me the info. I'll be a sigh of relief from DHO Western Province as well seen how dangerous the Pumas are with their drive, out. especially two, five one. meters out. Lucia, they haven't Lucia. really had any answers one to down. that Albert. yet Dropping of this Western guy. Province. And the New Nation Pumas only come up about 10 meters now without finding touch from that penalty kick. Vital moments. They'll need to be more clinical. I think there's a, a sense of positivity in this New Nation's Pumas team at the moment. That more the man brought down. They're getting enough possession to and uh, also winning penalties. Western Province have conceded their tenth penalty of the match. And although they had a nice early lead in this game, if you're wondering why the Pumas are just seven points behind now, it's because of that. Pumas have only given away three penalties. So DHL Western Province giving away almost three times, over three times more than that, and it will cost them. Especially when you've got a mall like the New Nation Pumas you can rely on. Tom Sweel back on the field and I think Western Province will be happy with that in their defensive position that they're in. You see that Rickus Pretorius is also coming onto the park. He'll be on in place of Dan Duplessis. Yeah. Engelbrecht, the target in the lineout. Off the back, it's Simon player, guys, Bestrat, guys. but it's September who comes away with it. It's a lovely little pop pass from him. Toliot doing his best to try and secure the possession once he went down, but uh, he's been holding on to it. So uh, it's a penalty to Western Province. Good work from Kaba once again. He's a master with the ball on the ground, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. And you know, in South Africa, I think we've been struggling with that a little bit. We've had really some great depth shown in other positions, but in that fetching position, we don't really have an outright fetcher. Right. I think it's unsuccessful. And uh, fantastic to see Kaba just yeah. really committing to that part of his game. He tries and he tries again. And uh, that time he gets the reward. He had just given away a penalty. And the sign of a really good player is when you know that you're in the right position and you've made your mistake, you correct it. The next opportunity you get, fantastically, fantastic maturity shown by the youngster, Dion Fari, world of experience. Well, Simon Bistrot has finally set. cried off with that injured ankle of his, so Edwin, Kater, uh, Edwin Swart rather, is uh, on in his place. Changes being brought by both teams. He has the same Dion Fari, Captain Western Province to the Curry Cup victory in 2012. No, oh, Pretorius, lovely player the from Rickus Pretorius. Support coming from uh, Sanatla. 
No, Evan Ruiz. Such a difficult man to bring down. Just look how well he's done there. Great balls for Western Province. Quickly from Swill. The long pass from De Jong. A brilliant pass from him. Galant is the man caught, but here comes De Jong again. Western Province just seem to get so inspired when uh, points have been scored against them. Another chance here for Galant. He's got through the first tackle. He's got through the second. Nope. Throw it away. Throw it away. Well, Western Province. Oh dear. They've made a complete hash of that. No. Nope. Again, it just shows that sometimes you've got to count to at least two or three before you make a call on what you do with a penalty kick. Sonakla back for it. Western Province have got the bonus point already with their five tries. But now it's all about one of these two teams winning this game. Devet. The 11th penalty that Western Province have conceded in this match. Yeah, and that's a coach killer, Gavin. Five meters out, they get a penalty from applying pressure and trying to play it quickly, but they just needed to slow it down a little bit. Warri Galant is welcome back to Carling Curry Cup Rugby. He's been sensational for DHL Western Province. And uh, the new nation, Pumas now, a huge opportunity for them right on the 22. We know how powerful that mall has been for them. It'll be interesting to see what they do. They're a little bit too far perhaps to maul it all the way. Andre Hufenta on for Skara and Dubeni. Uh, and we'll also see Godlin Masimla coming on for Paul Devet at scrum half. Uh, he's off, he's off. He's playing on. Plenty of changes being made by both coaches. Yep. There's Masimla. <laughs> so over the back she goes. And uh, now Eddie Fashir's got to make some decisions. Decides to look for an incisive break. Yazir Kornier. Knock on Kwana. September. On to Dan Martins. He's done well as uh, the former free state. Got everybody onto the front foot. And uh, the new angle. This time the penalty goes the other way. Western Province, the victors on the ground. Right, right, relax. Relax. Holding on, my boat. So one word works quite well for referees. Just use the word relax. <laughs> and everybody listens. Well, look, one man who is not listening to that at all on defense, and it's just been magnificent to see that Jim step up in that part of his game. Evan Ruiz, he's been so solid on defense. We've seen that a lot on the aggressive nature he has on attack, but yeah, my goodness, he's getting over the ball. He's looking for ball steals. He's been doing that the entire game. And look at that it's picture perfect, fantastic technique shown by quite a tall man. Kwezi Mafu. On uh, for the new nation Pumas and uh, also to Fiwa Mapura. Wait, wait, another sub. Come, bring him on. Changes please. continue to 15. be made. And we'll see that uh, Tristan Lace is going to come back onto the park too. And the guy, he's going to take the place of Warwick Gallant. I'm not too sure what the reasoning is behind that. At this point in time, this game is fairly evenly poised. Western Province now. Keep your mind, keep your mind, keep your mind. That's yep. in action. Masimla. In front of Malva. Down high. there by Edwin Swart. Shikaling. It's a side entry, high tackle here, number 21. High tackle. Ooh, high tackle coming from Crystal September. And, uh, only high tackle. I just wonder if. Uh, Daniel Martin's had something to do with that too. He's just apologizing. Now, Tim Swill, he's uh, amazing how many penalty kicks he's, he's had that have been quite close to the touchline. So not a great angle to work with. Uh, 
haven't seen many line outs for the DHO Western Province at all. And this is an unforced error. You're in the middle of the pitch. You need to just make sure you don't give away penalties. And I think being in the right body position, making sure of that is, is just vital. This is how the pendulum of momentum keeps swinging and not the right time for the new nation Pumas time off. to be giving away possession. You asked why you weren't sure Wari Khaland left the pitch, but he has just come back from an ACL injury and operation. He's recovered really well. If his performance was anything to tell by, and I'm sure they're just trying to save him. Yeah, there's a lot of rugby, of course, to be played, considering that there, there's a lot of midweek games that we've seen this Carling Curry Cup too. So no real respite. Let's find him over. Good play by Western Province. Everyone on the front foot once again. The drive coming from Johan de Toy. Now Fanamava. He really is a rounded rugby player, Edward Fanamava. Great, a great skill set. Now Western Province just need to count, as I said, to at least three before they make their call, yeah? <laughs> Godlin Masimla does some great work there just to slow it down, calm it down a little bit. They've got scoreboard pressure already on the new nation Pumas and you can see why they're starting to make mistakes, unforced errors. They are under pressure on the scoreboard. Well, it's one goal. That's a try and a conversion. That would bring the new nation Pumas on to 33 all. We had a 44 all with uh, the Lions and the Pumas, uh, rather the Lions and the Cheetahs. Maybe we could have a 55 all in this one. It's overcome. <laughs> Dion Ferry trying to find his way through. They've got to be well organized on defense here, the Pumas. Make sure they spread themselves properly on the field too. Pinta unable to get through. Advantage, no clear release by 10. Now, Masimla. Swill. Back in field to Tristan Lights. Back in field. Lights has got a chance and he's going to get over. So they've warranted the opportunity or the of not going at, at goal and uh, looking for a seven pointer. They've got five of those seven. That's his third Carling Curry Cup try. Trizzy Lades. Brilliant line from him. Fantastic inside ball from Tim Sweel. It's a good line on the inside. It's mismatches. He's got big men around him. The agility, the skill, good shot. Good show off from him, Trizzy Lates. Just an interesting thing at the breakdown there. Nobody's questioned it, but I just wonder if there hadn't wasn't a knock-on from Godlin Masimla at the breakdown point. Yeah, so I was about to say it's a boot that just kicks it out of his hand and, and unfortunately it's not one of his own teammates' boots. It would look like a Western Province boot, but that's a good eye, Gavin. <laughs> Spot on. Well, the extra two points are there. Tim Sweel gets his uh, sixth conversion, or fifth conversion, rather, of the day. Yeah, and that's why ill discipline around the middle of the pitch is such a coach killer. You're in the game and giving away a, a penalty for a high tackle when it's not necessary. Now they're 14 points behind, so... It's going to be hard work for them. Enough time though. Last change, uh, the full replacement bench on. There's Ali Majima. He's on for Matt Moore. And Western Province allowing that ball to, to drop. There's Evan Ruas. Good play there. Oh, I haven't seen him kick all season. He's done it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fresh legs on the field. Can they make a difference? Mafuro. One of them for the Pumas, for Shear. That's a lovely little pop on there from Vili Engelbrecht. Showing good skills as a number eight and a lovely Vantage. offload, I said, as I was about to say, a lovely offload. Just knocked on. Masimla. Advantage over. De Jong. 
Everything to play for for these two teams now in the next uh, 11 minutes or so. Yes, Ms. Simla. Good quick thinking there. And a lovely little pop pass to De Jong. Neat pick up there from Tim Swill. Shekeling. Everybody trying to get the ball through the hands as quickly as they can. And this could be the price that you pay. Well, it's a knock-on for the Pumas. It's the second time they've had a, an opportunity of a, a potential five-pointer. It's gone a begging with some poor handling. Well, Tapua Mafura reeled in by Paul DeVette. Great defensive work from him. Just puts enough pressure on him to make that pass on the inside. Yeah, let's go. A little bit behind Etienne Talian. Just over 10 minutes left now. What's been a humdinger of a game. Pumas led two unforced errors that really turned this game around. Allowed DHL Western Province a little bit of scoreboard space to breathe. So, Blöhle, Mietlund, Frischier and Andre Hugo Fenter, the front row for Western Province at the moment. Edwin Swart looking and Morgan Nordia and Marne Kutsia for the new nation Pumas. It's a free kick to Western Province. Will they call for another scrum? No stability. Not enough faith. Then it's going to be an up and under, surely, is it? It's a good kick right up against the touchline. Well fielded by Tolyat. September. It's a solid tackle there. By Nietling for sure. Now Majima. No, 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 no. September. Sanfir. Western province spread across the field. Defensively. Play on. Once again, it's good hands that from Billy Engelbrecht. There's a skill I didn't know he had. Real hard man at number eight. Take advantage of side. Offside. Queen Steven, offside. Well, Griffin Colby's picked up the offside positioning of Western Province. And I know that in, in many games that we do, it's often ever so close, the team standing and, and bridging that offside line. No, 100%. Huge hit put in by that man, Nietling, for sure. And you just need to control aggression. You've got a scoreboard advantage. The picture changes a little bit now. We know the new nation, Pumas, have got a fantastic mall. They'll be thinking about is that if that's too far out for them to go for that mall. But if they score now, it's a seven-point game and it's back. It's game on again. And again, giving away an unnecessary penalty in the middle of the pitch when you're not under any pressure. I've got one point for the four tries that they've scored. And that's one positive for them. Advantage. Well, that ball is available for Chris Will September. Now it decides to go blindside. Too many players in a standing position once again. No advantage. And this might be a better option for the Pumas to head for the corner and try and get that line out of theirs working again. But another good game uh, as Evan Ruiz always in the thick of things. Fudge, you spoke about him earlier too and uh, really has had a super season. Hold. What? So 
this is what they were looking for now. Can they finish it off with a try? Stopping them all illegally. Good work here from, uh, they're up to the five meter line now, the Pumas. Southern advantage. Trying to find the drive, they found the way through and they've got the try they wanted. Eric Cronier finally, he's been held up a few times. This time he gets over. Fourth Carling Curry Cup for Eric Cronier. He's been a real asset for the new nation Pumas in this year's Carling Curry Cup. And so has this, the mall. We expected it, Western Province expected it before this game, but when it's that good and backline players are joining in on it, very difficult to stop. So Eddie Fischer has got nine points the difference to reduce that to seven. Great kick from uh, Eddie Fischer. And they are one score away, the viewers. Uh, this was brilliant from them. They've had 10 visits to the opposition's 22. They haven't had much success, but every time they maul, they do. This time, unlikely candidate finishes it off, Eric Cronier. Ah! Western Province in no real hurry to restart this match. Important kicking as well for Sweeney. Got to make sure he stays in field while he's decided to go with a low one down the middle. That's for sure. It's a very good kick that from Eddie Fischer. Back into Western Province, half of the field. No, it's a brilliant kick from Eddie Fischer. And without a doubt, a missed kick from Tim Sewell. I'm sure he would have been trying to get it up against the 22. Tried to contest for it, but now they're under a little bit of pressure. Their line-out hasn't looked that solid. The new nation Pumas will be looking, as you can see, they're communicating. They're in the line nice and early. They'll be looking to force a turnover here. Okay, pull up. So some discussion there with uh, Ernest van Rijn. Oh, over the back she goes. So Western Province have lost the opportunity. Here comes uh, Edwin Swart. Entry. It's another penalty, and I tell you what, it's really game on here right now. Incorrect entry. Western Province making an awful Incorrect. hash of that line out. Yep. And the call from Griffin called is that you were okay to get over the ball, but you came in from the side. That was the issue. It's no wonder Dion Fury didn't let go of it. So, oof, there's nothing in it there, but he needed to let go and just show the referee the right picture. Desperation for the DHL Western Province here at home. Pumas have had success every time they've mauled this far from the line. Seven points behind. What a moment. Perfect throw in. They've got what they wanted there. The quick set. Jan de Troy trying to get out of the way. He's got to also lend his support to the defense of this mall. Swat decides to come away himself. He's got over. What a moment this for the new nation's Pumas. It's still a question of the conversion from Eddie Fischer, but some brilliant play from them as they try and close out this game. What a way to get in for your first Carling Curry Cup try. Eddie Swart, it's like he knows something other people don't know. Two carries. He's made about 30 meters with those carries and it couldn't have come at a more vital time, not only in this game, but of the season as well. Do you want to be this man, Eddie Fischer? He's had a few practices from the side of the field. By his normal standards, it's not a difficult kick. But I think the moment will capture it if he does get it over.
just whacked it over as Eddie Fisher. Six tries to the Pumas, six tries to Western Province. What a game. Uh, but another humdinger. We saw 44 points all just a few days ago. And that man, talk about a bomb squad, talk about a super sub. Eddie Swartz done well. So the key thing now is for both teams will want to try and avoid penalties when they're in their own half of the field. That includes the new nation Pumas. Six! Six! So de Klerk has caught it, but he's put a, a foot in touch. So they'll have to come back for the line out. Last chance saloon here for Western Province with this line out. I wonder if Hugo Fint has just got to make 100% sure of his throwing. And I was, almost, I was about to say, this is really unlucky for him. We can't really see. Oh, there it is. It's clear. Does he still have control of the ball, though? It doesn't matter. I was about to say unlucky for the new nation, Pumas. But it was a turnover, and we know counter-attack. Both sides have been dangerous. The Dejo Western Province haven't had much luck with their line-outs. So, big moment for the new nation, Pumas. Well, the Hooter in the background, so this will be the end of uh, the game at the next break point. Well, Western Province have won a penalty. Well, they don't have anybody that can kick this distance. So Tim Sweel will head for the corner flag. Where you are? You can see Tim Sweel just looking a little bit forward. Just There's the message from uh, the coach. Go for the corner flag yep let's get the line out and let's try and score from there are we going to have a little bit of drama here with a finish everybody's down there showing the assistant referee exactly where the mark is including the western province kicking coach gareth Wright. <laughs> <laughs> now it's nerve-wracking stuff i think they've made the right decision here both sides have given away penalties when under pressure most unusual score in a rugby match, 40 points all. Is that going to change in the next minute or so? Finta holding it, but similar with a pass. Now Pretorius. Always very elusive, Rickus no. Pretorius. The swill, the long pass up. David. And quite neatly there has uh, Paul David, now but similar. A knock on now will finish the game. So everybody making sure of their passes. Here's Pretorius once again. Russ. The new nation Pumas have got to be sure they don't give away a penalty here in a kickable position. A lot of penalties come from breakdown points. Pretorius. Tristan Lates. A switch pass. Good play from Devet. Good stepping from him too. 50-50 passes won't work out. And now it's a penalty for the Pumas. Are they going to settle for 40-40? Or are they going to look to kick it downfield, win a line out and score a try? Let's move now. Just fantastic. It's almost like each side will get an opportunity to see if they can change the game. And uh, Etienne Talliard, what a moment. Well, there's their decision. They'll settle for the, the points for the draw as well as the additional point that they get for having scored their six tries. So Jimmy Stonehouse will be happy enough, maybe not entirely so, but they really have come back a little bit from the dead. And Western Province and John Dobson will once again be mulling over the situation of did we play 80 minutes or did we have a half as we spoke about earlier, and another half. So final score here at DHL Newlands then is Western Province 40, the Pumas 40.